Hello and welcome to Med4 Care. Today's topic is Holman sign. Let's find out together what it is. Today's topic is Holman sign. One of the objective clinical signs the doctor looks for directly on the patient's body when there is a suspicion of deep vein thrombosis or a positive medical history. This sign is part of the so-called physical examination, the medical examination which consists of an objective assessment of the patient's condition through the search for objective body signs. It takes place immediately after collecting the patient's medical history and before prescribing any in-depth examinations. Why is it called Homan's sign? It is named after the Dr. John Homans who reported it in 1941 as a feeling of discomfort behind the knee due to the specific test. Let's see together how the test is carried out. A forced dorsiflexion on the foot is performed upwards. The sign is positive when, following acupressure, one of these occurrences. Pain during the test. Feeling of resistance. Involuntary knee flexion. How can we identify the positivity of Homan's sign? When there is no valid venous outflow in the distal region of the lower limb, localized edema is generated which determines a state of tension. When the doctor performs dorsiflexion, the structures compressed by venous thrombosis are stretched. This procedure generates pain and a feeling of resistance causing involuntary knee flexion. Which are the most frequent reasons? Deep vein thrombosis in the popliteal and lower area. All the conditions that induce local edema or tension, such as, acute inflammation, trauma, and infection. Despite being an imprecise and relatively unspecific test, it's often used in clinical practice. Why? Because it is a quick exam to carry out and, in combination with other indications, it may suggest proceeding to others' diagnostic phases, requiring confirmation tests, for example. The D-dimer. Venous ultrasound. CT with contrast. Angiography to accurately assess the site of thrombosis. Therefore, re-evaluating the positivity of the Homan sign helps to identify your medical condition in time and to request a consultation from your family doctor or your specialist. We are now at the end of today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please support us with a nice like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon on Med4Care.